Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Oke. Okay. Now in first let me introduce myself. My name is Muhammad Yad Irfansyah. I am from NGMM. And in in now I will in this day I will presentation about UX presentation. So, let's begin. First, what is UI? The UI in UI design stands for user interface. The user interface is the graphical layout of an application. It consists of the buttons user click on the text they read, the image, the text and the slides, and all rest of the items the user, user interface with. They include screen layout, transition, interface, animation, and every single micro interaction. Any sort of visual element, interaction, or in animation must all be designed. Next, what is UX? UX stands for user experience. A user experience, the app is determined by how interact interact with it. Is the experience smooth and intuitive or clunky or confusing? And confusing. Does navi does navigating the app feel logical or does it feel arbitrary? Does interact does interacting with the app give people the sense that they are eventually eventually accomplishing the task that set out to achieve or does it feel like a struggle user experience is determined by how easy or difficult it is to interact with the user interface elements that the, the UI des designer have created Okay, next. And then, in this, I will explain about UI UX history, the history of your UX. So, in early early one thousand nine hundred, the name is Fred Frederick Will Will Slow like Taylor and the quest for or shop or place efficiency. Okay, fast forward a few thousand years to meet Frederick Winslow Taylor, a mechanical engineer and pioneer of Taylorism, otherwise known as scientific management, on a mission to make human labor more efficient. Taylor conducted extensive research into the interaction between workers and their tools. In 109 eh, 1911 he wrote the principle of principle of scientific management in which accepted that scientific systematic management management is the solution is the solution to efficiency in 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 Inefficiency. Although Taylorism was widely criticized, criticized for the way it reduced people to more coach in a machine, Taylor's focus on optimizing in relationship between between humans and their tools, and certainly reminiscent of some key UX principle. And then in 1940, Toyota and the value, value of human input. Continuing on the quest for workplace efficiency, Toyota developed their famous human created product system. Unlike Taylorism, the Toyota production system was based upon respect for the for people. And much attention was paid to creating the optional working environment. Not only that, human input was considered 
crucial and was actively encouraged. Toyota factory works could pull a cord, stop assembly line if they had feedback, feedback or suggestion to improve the process. For example, like usability te testing in action, if you will. This represents a key step in UX history as it really brought attention to the importance how humans interact with machine no, no matter how advanced technology is its value is limited no to its usability and that's exactly what ux design is all about in 1995 donald norman gives ux design an m by this point user experience design was very much happening it just didn't have a label yet Donald, label yet Q Donald Norman Donald Norman a cognitive scientist joined the team at Apple in the early 19 as their user experience architect making him the first person to have UX in the job title he came with the team user experience design as a way of encompassing all that UX is, as he explained, I invented the term because I thought human interface and usability were too narrow. Narrow. I wanted to cover all as aspect of the person experience with a system, including industrial design, graphics, the interface, the physical interaction, and the manual. In one thousand. 998 Norman published the psychology of everyday things later update to the sense of everyday which continues to be a UX design travel to this day this book dives into so many practical aspects of design such as effortless significant feedback and more When 2018 and beyond, story in the making. UX is constantly evolving, and the fascinating journey journey continues. From artificial intelligence to voice every day, from virtual reality to design without interface. Today's UX designer face a new challenge every day. Inter interaction design concept that we are once brand new are now familiar mental <laughs> models for all of us. And that just illustrated that illustrated the dynamic evolution of the file. More and more it seems the future of UX includes all drastic shift toward interaction in inclusive design more and more it seems the future of UX includes a drastic shift towards inclusive design so forward thinking UX designers should learn how to design for inclusion just a much they speak seek up to skill and specialize in file like voice design and UX writing why UX UI UX is so important. The primary goal of any business is to increase its sales and increase the growth of the business. UI UX plays an, an essential role in facing the goal. The UI UX of the application improves the user experience and customer satisfaction and ultimately helps increase the number of the user of the specific application with user having a lot of choice and alternatives for the product or the service you are offering them you are offering them then spend of time to you getting get the grab of attention of your user is quite less and you have to hit the bullseye in this short, short span of time 
the U, UI and UX design, how to win the customer confidence and make them use your application or website providing providing them what they are looking for. The number of customer you are getting on your website or application can measure the success of the great and UX, great UI and UX. For a startup or a small venture, the importance of UI and UX design becomes even more crucial as the as the first impression lasts long and using UI UX. UI and UX designing can make or break the brand recognition. And that's all from me. Thank you and have a nice day. So anybody in anybody have a question for for this? Any question? Maybe anybody want question something what is the benefit of your design in real life the benefit is we can the first UI is make the customer trust with the great UI can make the the user trust with 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 the application because great design is more likely with likely user like and then great UX is the user experience so the user is is uh, more easy to use the application okay that's all from me I like your slide, yeah. That's colorful, yeah. But why do you choose uh, those colors? Because Blue, green, yeah. yellow, and red. Because uh, it's color of Google. Color of oh, Google. That's color of Google. Yes, and I uh, take a course of Google UI UX. Yeah. Because it's UI UX. And it's I learned from Google, so I make the color. Yeah, but the you know the the colorful, yeah, the yes. colorful, uh, like your in your slide, uh, it it is similar with uh, the LGBT <laughs> LGBT flag, right? That is like the LGBT flag, right? The color for the rainbow, the rainbow. Yes, but I can say this is just Google. Google. I can do uh, uh, yeah. Yes, it. Yeah, if, if you if you check the LGBT flag, maybe uh, you can check. Yeah, but the color is more. You know, if we yeah, if we if we wear clothes or something. Uh, with colorful, yes, with so many colors. Uh, it is similar with uh, LGBT. LGBT. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I noticed. Uh, no. I, I didn't notice. Yes, I didn't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, but you you like men or girls? You like men or girls? <laughs> Okay, and then I want to uh, I want to uh, give us example what UI is like. So uh, the example is like this. <laughs> nah, this is a UI design. The UI design of application. The example and 
and this. Okay. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you for listening. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.